Hello there and welcome to Math for Juniors with my assistant Snail and me Miss Mox. Hello there. Miss Mox, I think I will have to skip the class today. Why Snail? Well, you see, um, I have this science project to finish about stars and galaxies and I have to prepare a whole lot for that. So, bye. Hold on, Snail. Did you say galaxies, stars? Uh, yes, Miss Marks. Nothing to do with math. Snail, can you tell me how many stars are there in our Milky Way galaxy? Of course, Miss Marks. About 100 billion. Good, Snail. There are about 10 raised to power 21 stars in the entire universe. No! Stop overreacting. Now you tell me how many more stars are there in the universe than our Milky Way galaxy. Let me write down 100 billion. And uh, what did you say? 10 raised to uh, 21. Mm, 100 billion is equal to 1 0 0 0 0 Snail, don't get stuck with your calculation. There's no escaping math, huh? All you have to do is learn scientific notation to write the large numbers so that you can compare them in no time. Scientific notation? Oh, that does not sound like math. It's very much math, Snail. Come on, let's enter the virtual world to learn more about scientific notation or how to write large and small numbers in the same style. Many measurements in modern scientific field involve very large and very small numbers. The approximate average speed of a spacecraft is equal to 17,374 meters per second. This can be conveniently approximated to 17,400 meters per second. Every number, large or small, can be expressed in decimal form as the product of a number between 1 and 10 and an integral power of 10. Thus, the approximate average speed of a spacecraft which can be approximated to 17,400 can be expressed in a standard form as 1.74 into 10 raised to the power of 4 meters per second. General format of expressing numbers in the form of multiples of powers of 10 is known as standard form or scientific notation. Expressing numbers in standard form helps ease calculations. The general form of the standard form of the number x is a into 10 raised to the power of n, where a is a real number between 1 and 10, that is including 1 and excluding 10. And n is any integer positive for large numbers and negative for small numbers. Let's see how we can write number in standard form. First, move the decimal point to the left or the right as may be necessary to bring one non-zero digit to the left of the decimal point. If you move p places to the left, multiply by 10 to the power of p. And if you move p places to the right, multiply by 10 raised to the power of minus p. The value of the p depends on the number of places you have moved. Snail, now can you tell me how to write the number of stars in the Milky Way galaxy? Uh, uh, Miss Marks, so many numbers! A number jumble in my head! A jungle of numbers, a jumble of... Snail, come on, switch into high gear. This one is really easy. 
I don't know, Miss Marx. Uh, the value of P got me really lost. Well then, let's say snail, you are the decimal. Next to you on the left are the five chairs representing numbers. Four of them are red and the first one from the left is green. To convert to scientific notation, where should the decimal move to? Oh, I must think fast. To convert to scientific notation, I must stand next to the green chair. Now remember the value of P is the number of places you have moved. So, how many chairs did you skip? One, uh, two, uh, I skipped four chairs to the left. That's it. So, the value of P is? It is four, Miss Marx. Wow, that was fun and so easy. Easy, easy, easy. And now, let's make it easier still. Into the virtual world for more on writing really small numbers. Let's consider another example involving an extremely small number. The wavelength of violet light is approximately equal to 0.000038 cm. To express it in standard form, move the decimal 5 places to the right. So, we obtain the value 3.8 into 10 raised to the power minus 5 centimeters. Back from the virtual into the real world of math. Now, Snail, how many zeros are there in your number of stars? Mm, 11, Miss Marks. So, I am skipping, uh, skipping, hop and a skip and a skip and... Uh, I don't have all day, you know that snail. Oh yes, got it. So it's written as 1 into 10 raised to the power of 11. Correct, Miss Marx? Absolutely. Now, do you think you can subtract and find out how many more stars are there in the universe than the Milky Way galaxy? Miss Marx, no. Snail, let's enter the virtual world to learn how to carry out operations on these numbers. In order to carry out the multiplication of two such numbers, the coefficient of the two numbers are multiplied to get the resultant coefficient. Whereas the exponents of the two numbers are added to get the exponent. To carry out the division by using scientific notation of two such numbers, the coefficient of the dividend is divided by coefficient of the divisor to get the final coefficient. Whereas, to get the final exponent, the exponent of the divisor is subtracted from that of the dividend. In case addition of two numbers is to be carried out by using their scientific notations, first the exponents of the two numbers are made equal. This is done by appropriately changing the position of the decimal in the coefficient of one of the numbers. After that, the two coefficients are added to get the coefficients of the sum. Whereas, the exponent of the sum will remain same. Similarly, subtraction by using scientific notations is also carried out by making the two exponents equal. Later, the difference between the coefficients of the two numbers is obtained which becomes the coefficient of the final difference. Whereas, the exponent of the difference will remain same. Well, Snail, we are back. Did you figure out the difference? Yes, Miss Marx. It is 10 raised to power 21 minus 10 raised to power 11. That's great. Did you see how easy life becomes when you can write numbers that quickly, big or small? Yes, Miss Marx. Uh, but I have a doubt. Shoot, Snail. Hurry up now. Uh, 
well, Miss Marks, I was just thinking if the number of hair on my head can be written in the scientific notation. Counting your hair? Oh, why, Snail? I could give you a lot more work if you are that free. <laughs> oh, God. Come on now, let me tell you something about calculators. Do you know that frequently calculators and computer programs present very large and very small results in scientific notation? And the reason is that exponents as big as 10 raised to power 7 just may not fit on the screens of your calculators and some computers. Is that so, Miss Marks? Yes, so a different format troubleshoots this problem. The letter E or small e means times 10 raised to the power of in this system. It replaces the into 10 followed by the value of the exponent. For example, 6.022141 8E23 is equal to 6.022141 into 10 raised to power 23. That's wonderful, Miss Marx. I love calculators. And now, let's take a short sprint back and jog our memory on what we have discussed today. In the standard form, a number x is written as a into 10 raised to power n, where a is a real number between 1 and 10 including 1 but excluding 10 and n is any integer positive for large numbers and negative for small numbers. It's important to express numbers in standard form in order to compare large and small numbers. So that's all we have for you today on the show. Hope you enjoyed skipping places as much as Snail and I did. Oh, Miss Marx, I thought it's going to be so tedious and dull, but it really wasn't. That's good enough, Snail. So keep counting until next time. Goodbye. Bye.